Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am doing this look right here. This is a very glam look. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm doing it because it is a special treat that I'm going to get into when we get into the video. But before we do, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, I do tutorials, get ready with me's. I do a lot of shopping, so you see a lot of hauls. I do fitness, nails, hair, wigs. I do everything related to beauty. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you guys wanna see how I got this look and hear my life updates, see what's been up with me, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're gonna jump right into this video. And I don't know why I'm actually nervous about filming. I think it's because I haven't filmed in a while, to be honest, the content you've been seeing. If you look in the description box, this says previously recorded. Some of that stuff was months old, like end of last year old. So I am finally out of old footage and I'm happy about that because there was stuff that I had to edit out that I might've mentioned or talked about that was no longer relevant. And so now content is current. I'm trying to keep up with my updates and do better, but my schedule is just crazy. I am talking to y'all today. I'm going to get ready. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Let's start. I'm going to tell you what primer and then we'll go from there. I'm starting with the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I am doing full glam. Today's look is going to be a mock potential look that I want to do for my wedding. Yes, I said it for my wedding. I have so much to tell you guys. Okay, let's start with the primer and I will try to talk and work at the same time. So I will start off with this disclaimer because I know me and I know my mouth can sometimes be reckless and I know from Instagram, sometimes people can be real disrespectful. So Yes, I realize that when you put your life on the internet, it comes with the risk of high possibility of people making comments that they don't need to make comments about, people acting like they know you personally to be able to say stuff when they really shouldn't, people being keyboard war warriors, basically. I am sharing stuff that I am happy about. Some of you guys have actually become my friends, y'all have noticed when things are good and bad. So sometimes I just wanna be transparent and put stuff out there. Yes, I am talking about a wedding. Yes, I am engaged. No, it is not the person I was engaged to before. That relationship is over. I'm not addressing anything about it. So don't ask me any questions because I will not answer them. I feel like that is very disrespectful. And so we're just, we're not gonna do that. Not addressing it, not giving it any energy, that relationship is over, that is the end of that. Now, moving to current. Yes, I'm engaged. I haven't shared anything <laughs> on my YouTube about it. So I know y'all are probably like, where is this coming from? But if you follow me on Instagram, Miss Barbell Barbie, then you know who, what, when, where, why, and how. So I'm gonna let you go catch up there. I put primer on, but I'm gonna start with my eyes because I'm doing a dramatic look. But yeah, long story short, I'm happy. Like when I tell y'all I'm happy, like it's for real, for real. Like it's in my Instagram bio. It is in every caption. You know, when I told y'all before that people were saying stuff like, oh, you look happy, you're glowing, blah, blah, blah. Like this has been four months now. This is new to YouTube, but it ain't new to me or anybody else who's been following me on Instagram. So my fiance's name is Gabe. We've actually been friends for several, several years, like mid, what, 2016, 2017, something like that. It started from powerlifting, of course. That's where most of my friends have evolved from these days. But we were just friends. We were in a group chat and we talked about shoes and we talked about lifting and that was it. And 
we hung out together with our previous partners before. So it was a very healthy relationship. People were like, oh, y'all must have been messing around. Da, da, da. No, we didn't. We did not. So that's some of the stuff that we kind of worried about when we decided to make our relationship public because people were going to say that. You know, people are going to think what they want regardless. And that was my take on it from the beginning. Like, I'm not about to not be happy or hide a relationship or something I'm excited about worrying about what people are going to say. Because if that was the case, I wouldn't be powerlifting. People have had stuff to say about my body. I would not have done a lot of stuff that I've done and I regret nothing. So we have been friends for several years and it just, it happened. It happened like we knew pretty quick, but it just felt natural to go from, hey, you're my best friend to now you're my best friend and then some. So we actually got engaged in March, right before my birthday. Y'all, I'm gonna go between different palettes because I don't know, there's a certain color purple that I'm looking for and I might have to mix, but I'm trying not to. Um, but I'm just starting off with the Cosmos palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have not used this yet. We got engaged then and we just, we didn't post about it. We enjoyed our engagement being to ourselves. People close to me knew but you know a lot of times these days you can't always share stuff because not everybody is going to be happy not everybody is going to want to celebrate with you and you get to decide how much of yourself you want to subject to other people's crap and we just didn't want to deal with it so our family knew close friends knew everybody was happy for us and i think the biggest thing was just people who knew how our relationships were before, especially towards the end of them when they got bad, they were really happy for us. Just like, you know, y'all look good together. Y'all make each other happy. I can tell this is different. You seem this, you know, just a lot of positive feedback. So it has been, it's been interesting because, you know, you always hear like, oh, well, you know, good relationships start off as good friendships. And it was just different for me to say, I've actually had an extensive friendship with this person and now we're in a relationship versus, you know, oh, we went on a few dates and that was the extent of our friendship and now we're gonna be in a relationship. Now, don't get me wrong, there was still some learning curve <laughs> on both sides. Um, just because you get to know somebody as a friend, that does not mean you know them as a partner. And so we had to learn just, oh, okay, this is how this is. And you go from just like, hey, that's my friend and I can kind of say what I want to them and, you know, not really worry about being as, I can be direct and I can be blunt versus, oh crap, now I'm worried about hurting their feelings. So we did have to have some conversations just about like hey I'm a lot more sensitive to you than I used to be and I know you're probably like I could have said this before and it didn't have an effect but now it does yes and it works both ways I had to learn that too so it has just been such a blessing to be able to be in a relationship with someone that is in the same space as you he also power lifts he also coaches. So it's literally just like twin. I've always called him twin. He's always called me twin. I'm three weeks older. We're both Aries. So that's where the twin came from, which is also why we named our brand Twin Aries. Check that out on Instagram too. But yeah, it would just, it was, there's so much that we have in common and so much that we do the same, but there's also a lot that is different. And so it was just learning how to adjust to those things but it was just like even with having to adjust to that like this still just feels easy and it feels natural and the my favorite thing about it is when we first started talking on that level it was he was very direct <laughs> love direct i'm direct he's direct i'm not dating or risking our friendship just to see what can happen. I'm being intentional. 
I want a life partner. I want a wife. I want a long lasting relationship. So if that is not what you are looking for, I don't even want to risk our friendship to try to see what's going to happen. Like, this is what I want. Are you looking for the same? And yeah, yeah. Next question. Let's talk about the skeletons. <laughs> Let's get all the dirt out because that's the kind of stuff I want to know early before I get myself like really, really deep into this. And then there's all this stuff. So we had the hard conversations. We talked about past relationships. And even with a lot of that stuff, it was, okay, we feel the same way about this or damn, you went through that too. So it just, it was like at every turn it was, okay, we might have this one thing that's a little different, but in the grand scheme of things, like we feel the same way about the very core parts of a relationship. So it was really good to not have to worry about arguing about like, you know, having exes in the picture and stuff that we both were 100% aligned on that we felt this is respectful to the relationship. This is not respectful. So everything just flowed. I loved in the beginning that we did not, I'm trying to figure out what I want on my lid. So here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do, it's like this perfect combo of like a little bit of hint of pink, but more silvery purple. And I think this strange love shade in my Melt Cosmetics palette is going to be it. I guess I can show y'all the look I'm trying to recreate. I'll insert a picture right here. Um, hers looks a little pinkish silver. I don't want the pink. So that is why I have all these palettes out because I'm trying to figure out which shade is going to be the right one. And I don't know yet. So I'm just kind of building the outside and then I'll work with the shade in the middle. Back to what I was saying. So it just, it felt good because like I said, a lot of people... Let's try this shade. I think this shade right here is going to work. This is from the Juvia's Place. Never used it. The Violet's palette. So we're going to try this one. I think the biggest thing for me was just, you know, like I said in my Christmas Get Ready With Me a while back, to have people telling me, you look so happy. Oh my God, this is so different. You're glowing. Like, yeah, that's going to work. It was so good for me. And it's just been so good for both of us because we teach each other things and I loved in the beginning like we didn't even talk about powerlifting like we literally just talked about all the personal stuff like we I would have told anybody that was one of my best friends before we started dating but <laughs> this is so silly but I remember like I don't know where I saw it but I saw something posted that said his name was Gabriel and so I was like, bro, your your first name is actually Gabriel. It's not really Gabe. And he was like, yeah, well, I didn't know that. And I literally call you my twin. I say you're my best friend and I didn't know that was your name. And he was like, well, you didn't ask me. Okay, I see what we're doing here. So it was just funny to me because I was like, long as I've known you, I didn't even know that about you. So we didn't talk about a lot of personal stuff because like I said we were in both we both were in relationships he was married so there was a level of separation in terms of getting to know each other too too personally but there was always respect and support for each other in whatever was happening whether it was stuff with his team or stuff with my team you know so it was just I felt really good about how it started, but I was also really excited to be able to learn more about him and be like, oh, you like this too? Oh, this this is something else that's your favorite? Like there was just, this still looks super pink to me. I'm going to keep this same palette and I'm gonna take this lighter purple shade and put it over it and see. We're just playing right now. I really just wanted to talk to you guys because if any of you have been following my Instagram, then you might have had some questions. And like I said, some people went on there and was like, weren't you engaged before? Weren't you with this person before? And what's your point? Why do you need to say that? Do you even know me personally? Have you met me? And you feel the need to say that. So let's talk in the DMs and find out what you're really trying to ask. 
And then it was, oh, sorry, no disrespect. But you were disrespectful. So just people be people in. And we all know that. So that is why I was like, I guess I need to do a video and just go on and put it out there. So there's no questions because it is very real. We are getting married later this year. We didn't want a long engagement. We're doing things on our own time that feels good to us. It doesn't feel rushed. It doesn't feel like trying to prove anything. It's just, we know that this feels good to us and that's what we're leaning into. Do we still have a lot of stuff to learn about each other? Probably, but are we gonna learn that either way? Yes, and I'm really excited because, you know, I've started building a life here with powerlifting and putting on meats and we have a great home gym at Marietta Barbell and the owners there are super sweet and have just taken us in and made us feel like we have a gym home and you know just to be excited that he was like you know what I see how much you have going on for you there you've worked really hard to establish these connections and you've also moved a lot like y'all know my story about moving and he was like babe I'll come to you I'll come to you and then we can figure out later if we want to move somewhere else we can do that together but you know I'm cool with that for right now and that meant so much to me because most of the time I'm moving every single relationship I've ever had before I was moving for someone else so to me I was just like that really lets me know that you care about me and you're also not being selfish you're thinking about what's good for both of us also because of work and everything else like I was just like wow I said I wanted to do things different and I found a relationship with someone who also wants to do things different and it's showing up for both of us. So it has been, like I said, such a blessing and we are both extremely happy. Anybody who has seen us or been around us has seen it. Um, if, like I said, if you follow me on social media, y'all know we have this thing where we, <laughs> any chance we get, we're dressing alike. And one of my friends was like, that is so country. First of all, I don't care. We love it and we are intentional about it. Like literally what we wear in today is the question when we start getting dressed. And it's just fun. Like I finally see exactly what it feels like to be in a relationship with my best friend versus trying to make a lot of compromises to make it feel like you're with your best friend. You know, there is a big difference. So yeah, right now we're still in different cities. I'm here in Georgia. He's still in Texas. So that's why y'all see traveling on my side. And then he's here sometimes too. So we've just been making the best of it and trying to figure it out. But definitely it's been different for me because I've normally have not been a phone person. Like anybody who knows me knows I do not like to talk on the phone. That is not my thing. I want to text so I can keep doing other stuff. And we've had times where we've sat on video for eight, nine hours, just going about our day together. And we make, we do movie nights where we actually watch a movie, press play at the same time in different states and we watch the movie react together so it's like we're with each other so this is stuff that like i never would have done this before and now i'm like babe we haven't had a date night why are you on your phone while we on date night why are you responding to messages oh battery's about to die like we make it very serious because if we were in person we would make it serious so i think it's been a great way to help us feel closer even though we have a long distance relationship but overall, it's just, it's felt really good because it feels really, really healthy. And that is one of the things that I feel like has been the biggest blessing about it because I have had other relationships, we both have, and we've talked about that, that just haven't felt as healthy or have felt forced or have made us feel like we have to compromise who we are and what we love doing to try to be with somebody else. All right, so I went ahead and did my wing liner off camera just because sometimes that takes me forever. 
I don't think I told you guys for my eye primer, I use my Milk Makeup Gripping Eye Primer. I haven't used this in forever and I remember the first time I used it, I was like, damn, this looks so good. And I feel like it makes the colors pop more and then, yeah, I still feel that way. Let's move on to the face. As y'all can see, I don't know what is happening. My face is breaking out. I, we got a lot going on right now, but I feel like in general, it's all good stuff. I did compete recently. I don't think I've filmed since I competed. So y'all know I had surgery back in December. I had a very ambitious goal to compete again in June. And I wasn't sure if that was gonna happen because I literally could not get under the bar every week to squat and benching was also not something I was able to do. I'm color correcting, so I'm just trying to get my color corrector LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, trying to get this to come out without looking crazy. Uh, yeah, I hadn't been able, I had to, I couldn't train like I was used to. So it was a matter of trying to figure out like, what my body could handle without overdoing it, but also not being scared to push harder because you have to, if you want a chance at winning. One thing about me is I don't go into anything like, oh, I just hope I do well. No, I wanna win. I wanna win or I wanna break a record or something. Like I feel like if I give it my best and I'm able to achieve that, that should be something to, you know, give me a little edge to, to win, to do something I hadn't done before. So I had a very ambitious goal to go to nationals and I wanted to win nationals. I wanted to win nationals or at least place in the top three because if you do, that qualifies you to compete on the world team and the world team um, competition this year is in Greece, which I was just like, you know what? I've been out the country like to islands and stuff for vacation but i've wanted to go to like other major countries like not just a little two hour flight three hour flight like this is going to be a oh, 11 hours i think total or something like that crazy so this is a uh, for real for real out the country and it's also been really great to have somebody I used to always bounce training ideas off of Gabe anyway, but now for us to be able to have a fuller picture of what's going on, including the life stuff, being able to help each other balance those things out, it's literally everything that I've ever wanted. And I'm gonna try not to get too emotional because I'm not gonna be able to do my makeup, but Foundation, I'm using the Lancome 10 Edol Ultra Wear. This is in the shade, where is it? 510 Suede C. Y'all, this is so old. This has sunscreen in it and expired in 21. That's how old it is. <laughs> but I have been wearing this and I've been loving it. It's like, oh, I remember why this was so good. So I'm gonna wear it today. But yeah, it's just been, it's made everything so much easier. And I have trust issues when it comes to my training. I have had bad experiences, I've had good experience, but just letting somebody have full reign of, I'm gonna tell you what to do and you're not gonna ask me any questions is never gonna happen with me. And we've always just done it where we've bounced ideas off each other. Like, what do you think about this? Do you think this is too much? Should I scale back on this? Should I push more here? And he's asked me stuff about his too. So there's just been, a mutual respect between each other. We train different styles, but we still respect each other's viewpoints on that stuff. I know I'm gonna need to lighten this a little bit, but I'm gonna do that after with concealer. It's just been like, I'm like, I know there has to be a way to make this work where you can be a high level athlete and still be able to have a relationship and feel like, ooh, that is really dark. I didn't think that was gonna be that dark. Um, still have a way to be able to have a fulfilling relationship and not have to feel like, you know, you feel guilty because there are gonna be times when you have to prioritize your training if you want to be able to hit the goals that you wanna hit. So 
that has been another thing. I need a lighter foundation. <laughs> um, one second. All right, I'm gonna mix in some of this NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one is in the shade Caracas Medium 3. And she should be pretty light. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's probably what I should have used to begin with. I haven't gotten sun like I wanted to. I've just been busy. I started a part-time job on top of my full-time job and coaching and training. And it has really been a big adjustment. So that's another reason why I haven't been filming as much. Like, ah, your girl's been tired. And, you know, you don't want to get on here and try to watch a video for me. And I'm just like, ah, like nobody wants to watch that. So... Today I trained this morning and I was like, you know, I still feel really good. My energy levels are high. Let me go ahead and try to film. I'm going to drag this down my neck to help. That lightened it a little bit. Concealer will do more, but I think we're good with this for now. Y'all know I like my foundation to be dark. I just was not expecting it to be that dark. But yeah, we both have goals of still doing stuff. We've been powerlifting for about the same amount of time. We still have goals of doing stuff that we want to do that is more than we've ever done. To be in the sport as long as we have and still be improving is very hard to do. So we're just both really excited about having each other and having the support and, you know, just being with somebody who gets it. You don't have to explain I know what it means when it's 12 weeks out. I know what it means when it's six weeks out. I know what it means when we're cutting. You cutting, I ain't cutting with you, but I don't have an issue with the diet. You know, we're not going out and doing all this other stuff. I'm not going to make you feel bad about it because I probably want to stay home too. It's just everything is so much easier. But getting ready for nationals, he was so supportive about like, yes, this is a lofty goal, but if anybody can do it, you can. And I'm going to be right there with you. And it was just... It was literally perfection. Like I could not, well, the only thing I could have asked for for a better meet was getting my last deadlift because I missed it. But I also knew I was going for broke at that point. So it was kind of just like, ah, oh, you're pushing it. But, you know, at this point, we've already done everything we wanted to do. So we're good. I did end up placing first in my weight class. And I also ended up winning best overall. So I was the best female lifter of the meet, which qualified me to get the first nomination to be on the world team. And of course, I accepted immediately. So we are literally planning in the next six months from now to the end of the year to get ready to go to Greece get ready for him to move here, get ready for us to get married, get ready for him to also compete. Um, I'm also hosting another meet coming up here pretty shortly. We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, but the crazy thing is it doesn't even feel stressful because there's no pressure about like, oh, but we still need to go out and we need to go hang out and we need to go do all these things. No, we need to focus on what's important to us right now, which is our competitions coming up, getting ready for our wedding, getting ready for traveling out of the country. Like I've been out the country before, he has not. So, but again, mine was like island stuff. This feels so much bigger and honestly scarier than anything I've done before. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know, I'm really excited that I get to have this experience with you. We are preparing for Greece in November. Um, it's just, it's a lot, but it doesn't feel super stressful. Uh, and that's the thing that I'm just kind of like, you know, life with you feels really, really easy. And that has not been the case for a lot of my relationships. And so it's just all like, this is such a breath, a breath of fresh air. And also just, I really did not think this was possible. And yet here we are. I'm going to hurry up and set my forehead before she creases because things are looking really smooth right now. But y'all know I talk with my face. I'm uh, very excited about the wedding because the, he is letting me be the meathead that I am. And I just kind of threw this out there because we also, our favorite thing to do is to 
I'm trying to make sure this is not my highlighter brush. This is my highlighter brush. <laughs> Before I put highlighter under my eyes and everywhere else on my face. I'm just gonna change the color. I thought this was gonna brighten. Is it brightening? I feel like that just kind of made that. I don't feel like it's brightening, but it is definitely smooth. So we're both, um, I lost my train of thought, but whatever. Um, <laughs> We are both really excited about this Greece trip because it'll be a new experience for us both. The meathead in me for our wedding. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, planning the wedding, we both decided we did not want a big wedding. We have both been married before and that was not an issue for either one of us. But I just, I'm too old to be trying to plan a party for everybody else. Like we're getting married, let's do what we want to do and then take a trip for us. I'm not getting married for everybody else. And he was just like, I'm so glad you said that because I do not want to spend a bunch of money on a wedding either. So like I said, it is just so much easier when you are in line, in alignment with the person that you're with and you're not arguing about all of this stuff. Like it's just, it really has felt like it's been a blessing. So, um, the planning that we're doing for the wedding, I'm trying to lighten this still, is not stressful because we are both just like, we don't want anything big, we don't want anything crazy. The meathead in me, I was like, let's have a deadlift party. And he was like, are you serious, babe? Because that is, I would love to do that. And I was like, yeah, we both love deadlifting and we're gonna be in prep. So instead of missing a training session, let's train. That is what we love. That is a huge part of our lives. Why would we not make it a part of our wedding day? So <laughs> say less. We're going to have a deadlift party. We're going to have matching shoes, of course. Like everything is just... I'm trying not to crinkle up my face, but I just... It, it's good. It is so good and just calm. So... Yeah, went to Nationals together, won Nationals, celebrated. We went to Niagara Falls. That was also a new experience for us both. It was absolutely beautiful. And now we're like, we want to go back, but we want to go on the Canada side when we go back so we can experience that. Long story short of it, we're happy. We are both extremely happy, and we just both finally feel like we have everything in place that we need for the life that we wanted. You know, you sit, you hear all the time, like pray for what you want, be specific, ask. I was very specific when I prayed about what I wanted in a relationship, what I wanted in a partner, and I got it. I got it. Now, he did the same thing, and when <laughs> I laughed because he was like, you know, I prayed. I didn't know I was praying for you, but I prayed, and when I finally got my answer and saw who it was. I was like, really? Twin? That's who you sent me? And I was like, yeah. You know, I kind of had the same thing. Like, are you sure? Is this like... I mean, yeah. I could see it. But for real, for real? And it was just like, I'm going to roll with it. Because this is what it feels like it is. So not asking questions. And we've just been really trying to walk in that space of this is what feels good this is what feels right and we're going to pray together we are going to have hard conversations we are going to respect our relationship and really just try to treat each other the way we want to be treated and because we have so much in common and so many of the same goals centered around the same stuff there's not a lot of I have to sacrifice what I don't there's none I don't feel like there's anything that I have to sacrifice of what I want for my life or my relationship to be with him and you know he feels the same way so it's just been I keep saying this I swear to god I sound like a broken record it's been good it has been really good and easier than what I've experienced in the past so I guess I should do my eyebrows. I'm gonna keep doing my face though. Bronzer, didn't even tell y'all. 
House Labs Bronzer in Deep Level 10 is what I started with. And then I went over that with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Airbrush Bronzer in number four deep. For blush, how's this face looking? I feel like we're kind of, yeah, I think that match is good enough. Um, for blush, what do I have? Where did she go? Oh, I forgot I said I wanted to use that. Oh, I got it right here. I am using this Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. This is in the shade Desert Rose. I think this is gonna be neutral enough that it is gonna work for this look. But if not, I will put something on top of it. It actually is a little cool tone, so we should be fine. But this stuff is so pigmented and spreads so much. I'm gonna start with this much on the back of my hand and kind of spread it out and then put it on my face because lord um yeah i remember the first time i used this i was like i can't get this off okay i was about to say i don't see it but i see it and it is definitely coming off very purple right now so we are in a good spot i think another thing too i was really really excited about like meeting his family and the first time meeting his mom like <laughs> i she literally was like hey daughter come here and i was just like mm, because i don't really talk about my family a lot because both of my parents have passed away my grandparents have passed away so it's i have siblings that are younger i'm the oldest but for the most part like when it came to like having an older person that I could go to and talk to about stuff. I do have a friend who's a little bit older than me. And so she's kind of been like my big sister, auntie, sometimes a young mama when, you know, I needed to be told stuff. But for the most part, I've just been kind of on my own. And so it's been a little bit, not a bad adjustment at all, but just now having somebody that I talk to pretty much every day at least check in with to see how she's doing and what's going on and having girl talks and heart to heart conversations like that was something else that we identified early like we've both gained so much in the relationship because he doesn't have kids so me having an older son but also now having grandbabies do I want to use this I think I do we're gonna use this House Labs highlighter. This is the Bio Radiant Gel in Sunstone. Um, I'm like, hey, you have a grandchild now too with this extended family. You have a son, you have a grandchild, and I'm like, you need to figure out what you want her to call you. So when you meet her, you know, just get that started now. She's gonna know. And he was like, yeah, I think I just wanna be called Paw Paw. And I was like, all right. So they met and it was just you could tell it was love at first sight for him and she has her own little nickname from him he calls her his little sugar bean i want a different highlighter i'm going with anastasia beverly hills sun idol this is blending in too much so there's just been a lot that oh this might be too gold why am i struggling because i just grabbed stuff ready to talk to y'all Yeah, that's too gold. Oh, uh, maybe not. I just don't want it to be clashing with the eye look, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna keep rolling with it, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna end up putting something else on top of it at the end of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I think I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I don't have anything new that I wanna use for my brows, so... I'm just gonna do those real quick and pop out lashes and then we'll do lips. And I feel like, I feel like I've been talking a lot but I don't feel like the video is long. I don't know, I'll see when I start editing but we're gonna finish up the eyes and then that'll be it. But then y'all can tell me, do you think this is glam enough for a wedding look or what? We'll see. All right, so lashes are on. These took me a little bit and I finally found my lash curler, thank goodness, because I needed it. Let's work on this bottom lash line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Let me check the picture first. 
Her eyes are closed, so that we're gonna do what we want to do. I'm gonna start with Cosmos and use Dark Matter, which is the darkest shade, and then just kind of smoke it out. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for my updates. Um, as far as my training and stuff, that is going really, really well. I've been having a lot more good days and my shoulder is feeling pretty decent, all things considered. So I've been able to push things a little bit more. I've been sleeping well for the most part. Um, the biggest thing is just, I still need to get my weight down and it's not that I'm over by like five pounds. So it's not a big deal. I'll be able to lose it. I just, I'm over like the maximum weight by five pounds, but I want to be lighter than that. So I don't want to have to do like a super drastic cut at the end. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out like what's happening with my weight since I've been eating better and not drinking and doing all the things that I normally do that help my weight come down, but it ain't moving. And I don't know, you know, it might be this is 42, so it may be that, it may be, you know, something hormonal, it may be a lot of different things and that's part of our sport you know having to figure those things out and it just gets frustrating because you're like I've been eating salads I've been eating chicken I've been eating fish and doing all the things and this is still not working so I might as well just go back to eating and drinking everything I want because it's all the same thing anyway but I know it'll take time and it'll balance itself out it's just to give it the time and not be impatient but I will say one thing that makes it hard is <laughs> Gabe has made it very easy for me to feel confident at this weight. Daddy likes me thick. So, yeah, it's been kind of like a I want to get smaller, but at the same time, I love the compliments that I'm getting. And he will compliment either way. We've already talked about it. And he's like, twin, I love you no matter what. Whatever size you are, I'm going to love you. We laugh because I'm like, my head looks a lot bigger when I'm smaller. So he's like, I love big head Barbie. I live big, love big booty Barbie. So we can have either one of them and the relationship will be fine. And the biggest thing is he understands that there's a goal behind it. So there's not a whole bunch of why are you doing this? I don't like this. I don't support this. It's always been I support whatever you want to do. So that's been a little bit of a balancing act for me but I know it'll come to get I don't like this mascara on my bottom lashes I just remembered because I feel like it takes forever to dry so we're only gonna put a little bit this is a tubing mascara from Ulta and I thought it was gonna be something that I could use as like a drugstore option for some other tubing mascaras but I don't feel like it gives the same volume and lift as my Thrive one does. And even trying to wear it without wearing makeup just to see if I can see it and it's good, I don't think I like it. So I'm gonna try it one more time because I think that's what I remembered when I didn't have a lot of makeup on. And if that's the case, you will see it in a declutter. We're gonna move on to lips. I want to do a nude lip because I have so much going on with the eyes. I'm going to use my Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Molasses, which is just pretty much a brown. And then for my lipstick, I have a new one. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick. This is their Power Plumping Cream Liquid Lipstick. I have some lip oil on. I don't remember if I used this or not, but it was still in the box. That's usually how I can tell if I have or not. I don't remember if this is super drying. So we're gonna start with a little bit. Ooh, that is a pretty nude. And I feel her tingling. gonna put some gloss I think we need a little something what do we have I'm probably gonna do a gloss 
for the wedding because we want the lips to be popping but I don't have the gloss up here I want I can put a clear is that it for my face I think it is so tell me what you guys think is this glam enough I definitely want to do purple irony purple is our favorite color so definitely he wanted to see purple I wanted to do purple the wedding mostly the deadlift party is going to be purple yeah so i just i'm happy y'all i'm happy i'm excited about the future we have so much planned and the great thing about it is it doesn't feel overwhelming it just feels like this is what it's supposed to feel like so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i love giving you guys life updates i love reading your comments please don't be rude I will delete it. I will block it. I'm not giving it any energy. I'm just not. Don't be rude. Be happy. Thank you for watching this video. I will keep you guys updated with stuff in the future. If you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.